I am Adil Kumar. Welcome to my series on direct variation. Here is a very important question, question number two, to solve. Question number two is, x is directly proportional to y square. If x equals to 12 when y equals to 2, calculate the value of x when y equals to 5 and calculate the value of y when x equals to 9. Let us see how to solve this question. Now when I say that x is directly proportional to y square, this can be translated as x is proportional right, to y square. So that is how we translate the statement x is directly proportional to y squared. Now proportionality sign can be written as an equal to sign and multiplied with a constant, right? So we get our equation which is x equals to k times y squared. So we'll call this as our equation number one. Now to solve an equation based on variation, we need to find the value of k. So we say that the step now is to find k, the constant of variation, correct? To find the value of k, we will use the information given to us, which is at x equals to 12, y equals to 2. Substitute the values in the given equation, and so we get... 12 equals to k times 2 square or 12 is equal to 4k so 12 divided by 4 is the value of k and so we get k as equal to 3. So that gives you the equation of the given example right. So we can write down now that x is equal to 3 times y square. So this is the equation with which we'll work and find the solution to part A and of part B. Is that clear to you? Now in part A, we are saying the value of, calculate the value of x, so we need to find what x is when y equals to 5. So the equation here is, x is 3 times y square, so x is 3 times 5 square, so x is 3 times 25, or x is 75. So we get our solution that x is equal to 75, clear? When y is equal to 5, so that is the solution. At times, we may write this as a coordinate point. So in some parts of the world, we may write like this as our solution to the given question. Now, let's look into part B. It's slightly tricky. It says we need to now find the value of y when x is equal to 9. Okay, let us use the same equation, which is x equals to 3 y square. Substituting the value, we get 9 equals to 3 y square. We can divide 9 by 3, we get this as y square, so we get 3 equals to y square. Now what is y equals to? Of course, square root of 3. Now the question is, should I take plus or minus or not? Well, minus 3 square is also, square root is also 3, right? So we have to take the value plus and minus. So in this case, we have two solutions, right? So, so we can say that when x equals to 9, y equals to plus or minus square root of 3. Does it make sense to you? Let us try to understand this concept before leaving this particular question, right? So in a coordinate plane, what we see here is x is k times y square, right? So when I say that x is proportional to y square, that means x is greater than or equal to 0, correct? 
and we have seen that y could be positive or negative. So basically, here we have a relation which is like a function, not, not a function, but a relation which is kind of like this. It's a parabola which opens on the right side and we're looking for two answers to our question, right? So what we really found here was that for a value, these were the two points of our interest. Does it make sense to you? So I hope that clearly explains why the value of y has two values, plus and minus square root 3 in this particular example. I hope that helps. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.